Matthew Stuckey here, just giving you a quick missionary update on Easter Sunday. I uh, just got back from church this evening, and uh, tomorrow on Monday we'll give the results for the Soul Winning Mega Marathon in Asia from Wednesday through uh, Easter Sunday. And so um, I know a lot of people in a lot of areas took time off to go soul winning, not just at our church, but in other areas as well. So I want to give that video tomorrow. Just going to give the missionary update tonight. And um, our church had a great time. We we broke our record, actually, for souls saved in a week. We had over 300. We've never done that before. And uh, we had our normal soul winning on Wednesdays and Sundays. And then we had all-day soul winning in multiple locations in Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we had food provided by church just as a break because, you know, obviously you get exhausted soul winning for hours and hours. So we had a lot of people at our church join in it. So hundreds of hours of soul winning went into this from our churches. So great results for us, over 300 total. And, um, you know, we had a total of 318 is what we counted. I'm kind of hesitant to give you the results, though, because somebody just messaged me. They, they got somebody saved after church. So they're just addicted to the ministry here. So it's really encouraging to me. It motivates me to keep going. It's a great work by everybody. We're excited about that. On a Wednesday, Brother Chris from our church preached a great sermon. He preached that Jesus is not a hippie. And he kind of preached against this idea. He preached against the idea of Jesus having long hair and things such as that. But also just having proper reverence and respect for our Lord and Savior. And um, I learned things from the sermon. He, he, did, he did a great job. I learned some new things. He did a great job preaching. And he always does a great job. And on Sunday, I preached uh, through Romans 14. I, um, you know, just... Uh, I, pre I preached just verse by verse through Romans chapter 14 and just went through the highlights of everything that's mentioned there and basically how to um, uh, how to handle doubtful disputations. And so basically I talked about with areas that are kind of gray areas or where people are not in sin by having a position, you don't have to force them to adopt your position on something that's not sinful. For example, it brings up, you know, your diet. And, you know, I'm not a vegetarian, but if somebody thinks it's wrong, to eat meat then they should just keep eating vegetables that's fine they don't have to eat meat and the bible says that it whatsoever is not a faith is sin so here's the thing if you eat and you do it doubtfully you're not sure whether it's right or wrong you're actually in sin by doing it the bible says so if somebody has a certain standard where they think something's wrong you know you shouldn't try to push them to do something they think is wrong because you could actually cause them to sin even if what they're doing is not inherently sinful if that makes sense that's obviously different than thou shalt not kill I mean, so we shouldn't judge our brother according to Romans 14 and things such as that. But obviously, you know, there's things that are clear in the Bible. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. It's not really what Romans 14 is talking about, though. So I went verse by verse there, and it's, it's really all about loving your neighbors, similar to Romans 13. And then just preached the Easter Sunday sermon, the acronym of Easter, and talked about just the excitement of, of the resurrection and what that means for us. And, of course, you got to preach against Jehovah's Witnesses when you preach about Easter, given that they do not believe in the bodily resurrection of Jesus. And so, anyways, that's the missionary update for the week. It was a great week. It was a busy week. We're tired. We're exhausted. But, um, you know, it's definitely rewarding. And, uh, you know, just continue to pray for us. We're just hoping the government will loosen the restrictions here soon. They're still very tight, very uh, strict with certain things. And in some ways, it does not affect us. In other ways, it affects us quite a bit. And um, it affects with, with a lot of businesses being shut down right now that are non-essential or considered non-essential, it's very tough for people. So, you know, just continue to be in prayer for our church and our ministry. And also, all over the Philippines, there's like-minded people, soul winners and churches that are doing great works. And uh, the, the strict lockdown is difficult for a lot of people. But we do have a lot of people sick from our church and uh, various illnesses. So um, just continue to be in prayer for us. And thank you, and God bless.